Hello. I don't know about you, but usually I bake a lot for Christmas. And it usually takes us till mid-January to eat it all up. <laughs> so now, all the cookie tins are empty and all the cakes are eaten and there's nothing left anywhere but a few crumbs. And it's time to bake something else. Something that doesn't taste so Christmassy because we had plenty of that. It's almost a relief to be baking something else again for the rest of the year. And today we're waiting for a storm to arrive. You can see it in the background here. It's very... Oh, you can see a reflection of my phone. <laughs> and you can also see lots of raindrops and wind and... Anyway, storm is approaching, so it's a good day to do some baking indoors in the warm kitchen. And I want to share a recipe with you today from this little book. It's a tiny little A6 book. Doesn't look like much, but there's quite a few brilliant recipes in it. And I discovered this one. Uh, Würzige Kaffeeschnitten mit Sultaninen. Uh, which translates into um, spicy coffee slices with sultanines, raisins, sultanines, sultanines, sult sultanas, that's the word, <laughs> sorry. It's uh, early in the morning, so <laughs> brain doesn't work properly yet. Sultanas. First of all, I measure out the butter and cut it into small little cubes and let it sit near the warm stove so that it can go nice and soft. Then I heat the water with the instant coffee powder, the sugar, cocoa powder and sultanas. When the mixture comes to the boil, I let it simmer for 15 minutes and then let it cool down. When the mixture has cooled, it's time to preheat the oven. Ours is fan heated, so I set it to 160 degrees Celsius. The butter is nice and soft now, and I mix it with the icing sugar and vanilla flavored sugar. When the butter sugar mix is creamy, I add the eggs, the salt and the spices and yum. You can leave out any of the spices if you'd like a more mellow flavour. Next, I fold in the flour and baking powder. And then, at last, I add the coffee raisin mix. I've buttered the cake tin. You can also use greaseproof paper if you prefer. I spread the cake mix evenly in the tin and it goes into the oven for 30 minutes or so. When it is baked, I let it cool down. And in the meantime, I make the topping. I mix the icing sugar with the instant coffee powder and water to a nice smooth cream and cover the cake. I feel like sprinkles today, but you can just leave the cake plain or add any other decorations if you like. Here you go, very simple and very yummy coffee cake. The storm has passed now and it is evening time. Maybe not the best moment to eat coffee cake unless you want to stay up all night. But next morning we are definitely ready for a slice. There you go Tim. Would you like to join me for some coffee cake? I would. It's yeah, it's our <laughs> nom 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 moment. <laughs> <laughs> mm, nom nom nom.